Hey everybody, welcome back to Champ and Sons and our NCAA 24 coaching dynasty here where we are in season number two as the offensive coordinator for the Northwestern Wildcats. And this is set up to be a good one here to get the season underway. A rematch of the Fiesta Bowl against Baylor. Um, this is another neutral site game. I figured that was the best way to do it. Um, so this one should be a good start to our season, a tough start. Welcome everybody to the channel. If you have not been here already, thank you for joining us. And we're going to go ahead and get underway in this one late in the first quarter, trailing 7 to nothing. As we've got a new offensive scheme going, Cam Porter is taking over as the starting running back. Evan Hull did graduate and move on after last season. We got to see some flashes of Porter at the end, about midway through last season towards the end, um, as he had to step up with Hull getting injured. Now, like I said, we got a lot of new guys coming on. We pointed them out in the last episode a little bit, and so now we're going to start to see really what this team can do. It is interesting being here opening up this game, starting out basically trailing 7 to nothing here after the first quarter, um, trying to get our offense under our feet. Now, Sullivan will be our starting quarterback. You'll notice some of our receivers are still some of the guys from last season. Florimer right there with a 12-yard reception down the left side to get the first down. He was there with us on our run last year trying to get it going again. So first and 10 now from the 12 here at the start of the second quarter. Sullivan's going to stay in a shotgun. We're going to go three wide with one tight end in the slot right. Has the snap. They bring a quick blitz. Fire that one over, and it's going to be almost intercepted. Looking for Sullivan there on the left side, or Sullivan looking for Florima there on the left side, unable to get him over to him. Still trying to get the first touchdown of the season after that incomplete pass. We've got a second and 10 now from the 12. Sullivan has the snap, hands it off to Porter up the middle. A little hole opens up, and he's going to pick up seven yards and gets this moving into a third and three. Cam Porter got 18 yards on five carries. Don't worry, it's early. I have full faith he will find his footing underneath him. Now, Jacob Gill did return to us after uh, for this next season. He's going to be off to the left side, but we look for Johnson. Calvin Johnson, the second, coming up in the slot position, unable to make the catch, and we do have to settle for a field goal. Now, we would do, our defense would do a good job holding them to no points, so here we are later in the second quarter on the move once again, finding Tony Tyus over the middle for a nine-yard reception coming out of the backfield. And that's going to make it second and one at the 40-yard line on the plus side of the field. Still trailing seven to three, so we've done a good job staying within striking distance. So Sullivan's going to come out set in a pistol formation. Three receivers set. Has it, hands it off to, Sull to Porter going to the left side. Big hole opens up. Cam Porter picks up nine yards on that rush. Now he's sitting at 41 yards uh, with nine carries on the evening, getting us down to the 31-yard line. Two and a half minutes remaining in this first half, trying to get some points on the board and possibly take the lead. From the pistol, it's going to be a play action. Sullivan drops back, fires it down the left side. He's got Calvin Johnson, breaks a tackle, and he's going to march into the end zone. 31 yards, touchdown Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Coming off that play action, they brought the blitz, which means you're going to be stuck on an island, and Calvin Johnson's got some speed, and he's able to break away and get into the end zone. Now, our defense did hold Baylor and forced them to punt early, so now we have it 24 seconds left. First half, trying to add on to it. Firing over to the right side, and that one's almost picked off. Although we had to play a little bit of defense on that one from our receiver. Sullivan feeling his confidence, building maybe a little too much, a little too quick. So still at the 41-yard line, 19 seconds remaining now with a second and 10 after that incomplete pass. We still have two timeouts remaining from the shotgun. Play action, Sullivan. Rolls out to his right side. He's going to take it down himself and just runs out of bounds quickly. Sullivan's not that quick of foot, right? He's not he, He's not really a scrambler. He's definitely more of a pocket passer, but we obviously run an option-style offense, so he's going to have to pick up his pace on that one. Third and eight. Sullivan drops back, fires it out, cross coming to the field. Calvin Johnson gets out of bounds with nine seconds remaining now. Completing the reception and the first down getting it to the 28 yard line nine seconds remaining that's at least a couple shots into the end zone if we can get it two timeouts remaining still 
Sullivan, he's going to come out in the shot. Pistol formation there. Three wide set. Has the snap. Good blocking. Pressure comes late. Fires it over to Florma down the right side who gets hit out of bounds at about the six-yard line. Five seconds to go. And that should bring on the field goal unit. I'm not sure if we've got enough time for a one play into the end zone. And that's going to be a tricky little situation. And we do bring on the field goal unit here at the end of the first half to try and get uh, some points onto this lead. That kick is going to be up, and it is down the middle. Good to so give us a 13-7 lead as we approach the end of the first half. Now we're going to move on up to the middle about the third quarter here. Six and a half minutes remaining. Wildcats on the move once again. Sullivan has the snap. He's got a little hole open, takes off, and slides down. And they are going to give him the 10 yards on that one. He's good within the pocket, and he can find those gaps, especially when they drop into some deep zones there. Um, or even in man coverage, he'll be able to pick up some yards. Like I said, he's not, he's not going to break away for 40, 50 yards, but he can pick up some. First and 10 now. Sullivan hands it off to Porter up the middle. Big hole open. Running tacklers over, and Cam Porter finally brought down at about the 8-yard line with a big-time run here in the third quarter. He's now got 74 yards here this afternoon. And that's going to be a big one to set us up with the first and goal from the eight. Trying to extend our lead. Leading 13-7 to seven over the number 22 Baylor Bears. Rematch of last year's Fiesta Bowl. Send Porter in motion. Sullivan has the snap. Rolls out to his right side. Chased and tackled. Ankle tackle there by the defender. Devontae Tizino gets him down the first sack of the day for him. And that's going to put us back down all the way to the 17-yard line. Second and goal from the 17. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Sullivan from the shotgun has the snap. They bring a blitz. Stands in the pocket. Fires it over to Gill, who gets hit hard but brought down right around the line to gain uh, where we initially started this drive at the 9, 8-yard line. They're actually going to give it to him at the 7. Forward progress. And a little bit of a gifted spot on that one. So now third and goal from the seven, well within scoring range. And how are we going to draw this one up? It's been hard to find the end zone for us in this game so far, but we got to crack it at some point. Sullivan is going to be in a shotgun. Four receiver set, has the snap, fires it deep into the back right corner. That one's going to be knocked away by the defender. Looking for Gill there on the right side, unable to get that one completed, so we do kick the field goal. Now, later in the fourth quarter, here we are at midfield, still leading 16-7. Hand that one off to Porter, going to the left side, breaking tackles. Pushing forward, Cam Porter picks up 10 yards on that rush. He has really picked up his game here in the back half of this one. After that first quarter sluggish start, he's got 85 yards on 15 carries. So first and 10 now at about the 40-yard line. Sullivan's going to be in a shotgun formation. Hands it off to Porter, going up the right gap there. And he's brought down after a gain of four. Looks like he got tripped up right around the line of skin or scrimmage by a lineman there. And he picks up only four yards. That's going to make it second and six from the 36. Wildcats coming out in the shotgun. Four wide set. Has the snap. Hands it off to Porter once again. Going to the left side. He's going to be swallowed up. Nowhere to go for Cam Porter on that rush. He'll actually lose a yard. Trey Emery for the Bears did a great job coming off his block and making that tackle to bring him down for that one yard loss. So third and seven. Wildcats six for 11 on third down so far this afternoon. Gonna stay in the shotgun, three wide set. Sullivan has the snap, they bring a blitz, fires it over, he's got Gill pushing forward. Jacob Gill, welcome back, as he makes his sixth catch of the game for 67 yards and a first down. So first and 10 now from the 25 yard line, Wildcats. Coming to the line, Sullivan, 20 of 29 on the day. A good job for his first start of his collegiate career. Sullivan has the snap. They rush only three. Stands in the pocket, fires it over to tight end Roach. Adam Roach picking up nine yards on that one. Just a little curl route right in the middle of that zone there. Settled down. Sullivan did a good job to find him instead of pressing it. That's why he's got 239 yards with the one touchdown, but no interceptions on the day. And speaking of Roach, it looks like a knee injury is going to hamper him, and he's going to have to be helped off the field. So we do get down to the 16-yard line, but at what cost? Our starting tight end, that's the cost. <laughs> so second and one now. Under four minutes to play here. 
Still, we do have a two-score lead, 16-7. to seven. Hand that one off to Tony up the middle. He picks up some big yards, eight yards to be exact, and that's going to give us a first and goal situation here at the eight-yard line once again. Tony's got 12 yards on his two carries, taking a pretty decent advantage of the opportunities he's given to carry it. First and goal. Sullivan has the snap since Gill in motion. Quickly fires it out to Porter on the right side. Breaking tackles. Still pushing forward. And Porter's going to be brought down at about the three-yard line. Maybe the two on that one. They are going to give it to him at the two. So that is going to be a gain of six yards. Cam Porter, great hands. Great job staying on his feet. Just couldn't push it across. Second and goal. Spreading him out wide. Sullivan hands it to Porter up the middle. Untouched. Touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Cam Porter extends this lead out now. It's going to be a 16-point lead, 23-7 to is what we make it right there in the fourth quarter, and that's going to give us the chance to walk away and walk out of here with a victory in this game. Now, this one, they are a top 25 team, so it was a little tougher than what we had originally thought, right? And we did a good job sealing the deal when it came to it. Baylor came firing back um, with some big-time plays and touchdowns. We got one more on the ground by Sullivan. It, it was pretty much sealed up from there. They never had the actual opportunity to tie the game or take the lead from us. So, um, you know, good job, a good win. You know, to get this thing started out in the Texas kickoff game, sort of Baylor's backyard, but this one is played in Houston, Baylor's in Waco. Pretty decent drive for them. Um, you know, a good neutral site win. Both fan groups showed up. Both teams actually played pretty decent. The first half was a, you know, just a boxing match of body blows. Then, obviously, as we got that touchdown, um, it became kind of some haymakers being thrown. So where do we go from there in week one? Well, we travel all the way to South Bend in week two to take on the Fighting Irish once again. You know, they, they gave it to us last season. They, they took it from us um, early. That was our first loss of the season last year. This year, we're going to look to try to return the favor, have a little bit of revenge game. But no need to play them at our home. We'll come to theirs. Not a big deal. We can beat them anywhere we need to. You say I say that now looking at the ratings. Notre Dame definitely has the upper hand in that one. Um, they have the history behind their side, the name behind their side. And the fact that, for the most part, they're generally a better team historically um, in real life and also in the video game world than what we are. But we're building something here, right? We went to the Big Ten title game last year. Uh, we won a Fiesta Bowl, big time, you know, January 6th, New Year's 6th bowl game. Um, so we, we've definitely put in our work, and we've earned shots like this. And we're going to go ahead and start taking our shots here early in the first quarter. Seven and a half minutes remaining. The opening drive, it's going to be an option. Sullivan keeps it himself, pushing forward, picks up six yards. Might want to learn how to slide there, but he's young, he's dumb. It all works for football. So second and four after that six-yard rush by Sullivan. That's going to get us set up here at the 27-yard line, you know, on the move here on our opening drive. So now we're going to come out set in a three wide. We got our tight end there in the slot right position from the shotgun. Sullivan has the snap. They bring a blitz. Stands in the pocket, fires it over the middle. He's got Florham on the left side on the slant pattern. Picks up big yards to get down to about the 10 yard line. 17 yards on that catch. A great job to, by him to get off the line and then just use pure speed to get around the defender and get into some open space and make that catch and come down with it while holding on to that ball. So first and 10 from the 10, basically first and goal. Sullivan is going to be in a pistol formation. Three wide set, has the snap, hands it off to Porter up the middle. Hole is open on the left side. Cam Porter lowering his shoulder. He's going to pick up six yards on that one, and that's going to make it second and goal from the four yard I guess it does say five-yard line, second and four. It looks more to be, you know, goal to go. That's how I'm playing it. Second and four. Sullivan in the shotgun. It's going to be an option keeper to the left side. Has a hole open. Brandon Sullivan. Touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 
He's not fast, but when all you need is five yards, you, speed is not a necessity. Sullivan gets in to give us an early lead. Now, Notre Dame would come right back at us and put a touchdown, but hey, guess what? They missed the extra point. So here we come. Both teams firing shots here in the open quarter. Hand that one off. He's going to be sacked by Junior. <laughs> However you pronounce his last name. Junior sacks or brings him down for a one-yard loss, not a sack. He hit Cam Porter right there. And that's going to make it second and 11. From the 30-yard line, and we're going to be in a shotgun formation. Three wide set. Sullivan has the snap, fires it quickly over to Roach, but that's going to be knocked down by Xavier Watts. Linebacker made a great play on that one. So third and 11 now. 21 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. The score, as I said before, is 7-6. to six. We're on the move trying to add some points. Here we come back out in the shotgun formation. Petrucci is in the slot right. Three receivers. Sullivan has the snap, fires it over, and that's going to be knocked down again. Almost intercepted. Philip Riley with the great play there. Sullivan, 7 of 10 for 82 yards, and he did throw an interception earlier after the scoring drive. So now we are going to have to go for it on 4th and 11. Too far for a field goal. They bring a quick blitz. Find Petrucci over the middle, pushing forward. Our tight end, Chris Petrucci, 24 yards, and that's going to give us a first and goal. 4th and 11. All we needed was the 11. He gives us more than double that. 24 all the way down to the six yard line first and goal as the first quarter comes to an end with us leading on the road in South Bend seven to six. A pretty decently played game. Some mistakes there, the interception thrown by Sullivan, but overall fairly well played by both sides. On knocking on the door here from six yards out to get the second quarter started leading by one. Sullivan's going to come out in a pistol formation, three wide, hands it to Porter, going to the left side, he's got a hole open, lowers his shoulder, and he's brought down just mere inches before the goal line. He's got 20 yards on five carries, almost notching his first touchdown of the day. So second and goal now from the one, about half yard line really, is where they are going to place it. That's going to spread them out wide in a shotgun. Sullivan has... Looks over the defense, has the snap, hands it off to Porter, pushing forward, and he's going to get the ball across the goal line, and that's going to be touchdown Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Porter crossing the goal line, wanting more as he says, feed me, please. So after a quick stop, we find ourselves here in a third and ten as Sullivan has the snap, fires it quickly over the middle. He finds Gill, spinning away, breaking tackles. Jacob Gill picking up right where he left off last season. 25 yards on that one, his fifth catch. He's got about 78 yards on the day receiving. And what a move there by Gill to avoid the big hit coming from the safety and getting us moving forward all the way to the 37 on the plus side of the field. Now Sullivan's going to remain in a pistol formation, three wide. Has the snap, hands it off to Porter, going to the left side. Hole is open, but he's brought down quickly after a gain of seven. Porter doing a good job finding those little gaps in the line to squeeze through, and he's picking up decent yardage. So that's leaving us with a second and three from the 31-yard line. Sullivan's going to come out in the, this offense in a shotgun. Four wide set, Petrucci, slot right, hands it off to Porter up the middle, pushing forward. Defense played it great, but... Porter was not going to be denied on that one, picking up five yards and the first down, making it first and 10 from the 26 as he took the tackler head on and pushed him into the ground, um, finally getting the yards we needed. So first and 10 from the pistol, two tight ends, play action. Sullivan fires it deep over the middle. He's got Gill still fighting. Jacob Gill finally brought down at about the six-yard line. He's now got 98 yards. Looking to try to cross the century mark here before the end of the first half. And a first and goal for the Wildcat offense. Leading 14-6 to six right now. So here we come set up in a shotgun formation once again. Two back set. It's going to be an option keeper. Sullivan not going to be able to go anywhere with it. Reddit did a good job not handing off the first time, but probably needed to toss that thing out a little bit quicker. The defense was on him fairly fast, though. So second and goal now from the four. Sullivan coming out in a shotgun. Three wide. Petrucci slot right. 
And the little bunch over there. Florima, wide left, has the snap, fires it quickly over. Jacob Gill with a diving catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And the first half isn't even over, and we are starting to open this one up. It is going to be 21-6 to six after that drive. Now, Notre Dame would add in an additional field goal here as we are in the third quarter, leading 21-9, to nine, making this a two-score game still. And finally, they may get some pressure on Sullivan, hit him as he threw, tries to throw it on that first and 10. That's going to make it second and 10 as they do rule that an incomplete pass. From the 43-yard line on the plus side, we are going to go five wide. Sullivan has the snap. Stands in the pocket, fires it to the left side. He's got Calvin Johnson stiff-arming his way forward and finally brought down after a gain of nine. That's going to make it third and one here from the 33. Got to push it forward. Notre Dame added a field goal, but you know we got to keep adding points as well. From the pistol, hands it off to Porter up the middle. Big hole open down the left side. He's making moves, stiff-arming away, bowling over tacklers. Cam Porter tripped up on the men he knocked to the ground, and he's going to get a first and 10 after that rush. Big time yards there on a third and short, way more than what was absolutely necessary, getting us all the way down to the 17-yard line. First and 10 for this offense, coming out in a pistol formation once again. Has the snap. They bring a blitz. Stands in the pocket, hit and brought down. Sullivan stood in the pocket, probably should have actually bailed out a little earlier. You know, he kind of would bail sometimes like in the Baylor game sooner than what he really needed to that time. He need, he should start trusting his instincts on when, hey, get just the six, seven yards on the scramble instead of taking the sack. On second and 16, hand that one off to Porter, going to the left side. He's going to be stuffed at the line. Nowhere to go for him. That's going to make it third and long for this offense at the 23-yard line now. Still trying to be able to get ourselves in solid scoring position. Third and 16. Sullivan's going to come out in the shotgun. Petrucci slot right. Three receivers. Florma wide left. Has the snap. Sullivan fires it deep over the middle. Kelvin Johnson. Touchdown Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He rose up into the sky and snatched that one away from the Irish defense. They tried. They wanted the interception. Johnson said, not today, sir. He went up and snagged it before they could do anything. Now our offense went on a little bit of a drought while Notre Dame picked up their pace as they make it an interesting game here now. 28-23 is our lead as we hand that one off to Porter going to the right side, picking up four yards. He's got 73 yards on 15 carries this afternoon. Five and a half minutes remaining in this game. We do lead by five, looking to put some points up. Second and six. Sullivan making changes at the line. Has the snap. They bring a blitz. Drops back. Fires it. That's going to be intercepted by Mikey. Poor decision there by Sullivan. Making moves down the right side, and he's finally brought down at about the 16-yard line. I don't know where Sullivan was going on the throw. He had him open. He did have him open. Let's make that perfectly clear. But he completely missed the throw. So Notre Dame would capitalize and score a touchdown and take the lead. This is starting to have flashes of last year as Sullivan drops that one off to Tony for a gain of nine yards, making it second and one. Here at the 41-yard line on the plus side of the field. We now trail by three. Notre Dame came storming back on us to take the lead. So from the pistol formation, they bring a safety blitz. Porter off to the right side. He's got some space. Stiff arm in his way forward, picks up six yards. And a first and 10, a new set of downs. Two, just over two minutes uh, remaining in this game here. As we've got a first and 10, we're 35 yards away from pay dirt. We got to at least get into field goal range. That's going to be a major thing for us here in this one. And so we are going to go five wide. Sullivan from the shotgun has the snap. Quick throw over to Calvin Johnson on the right side. Stiff arm in his way forward violently, picking up 11 yards and a brand new set of downs. Johnson with his seventh catch of the day. He's got 74 yards and the touchdown. First and 10 now after that beastly stiff arm. Sullivan is in a shotgun, has the snap. Rolls out to his right. Nowhere to go with it. The cornerback did a good job coming off his defender there. 
Looks like he's going to have some space, but no siree. He came down, and Sullivan wisely throws that one away to make it second and 10. A minute 27 is remaining. Sullivan in the shotgun, has the snap. Quick throw on the slant to Florma. Pushing forward, he's going to get a first down, so the clock will stop as the chains reset. First and 10 here now from the 12-yard line. We do have plenty of timeouts, but I also don't want to leave a whole lot of time on the field for the Irish. I don't want their offense to have much of an opportunity. One minute remaining as Sullivan drops back. He's going to scramble out to his left side. Breaks one tackle and finally gets hit and brought down. Looks like he's going to try to lower his shoulder, and he got the best of that blow, gaining only eight yards. So here we go with the no huddle. Sticking to the five wide. Sullivan staying in the shotgun formation. Has the snap in the pocket. Fires it quickly to Roach. He's going to get in. Adam Roach for the touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 38 seconds remaining. We're going to take the lead in this one. 35 to 31. A great game is what this turned out to be for a second. We thought it was going to be a blowout, and it looks like our offense took their foot off the gas, and Notre Dame made it, has made it something interesting. And so we came right back, firing at them, got the lead. Here comes the Irish offense. As they stand in the pocket, fire that one deep to the right side. It's going to be intercepted. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. The interception, Drew Pine, the Irish quarterback, throws his third interception of the afternoon. A great play to go up, find that ball, and snag it out of the sky. As we come, ended up having to come back, a game that we led by 15 points at 1-9, we had to do, pull off a comeback in the final minute to get the score to take the lead and the win in this game. So we finally get our revenge on the Irish. It's just a good feeling and a great way to start our season. The end of last year was kind of a struggle uh, with the game against Nebraska and the Big Ten title game, how those things ended out. But we've done a great job so far. One revenge game knocked out. Uh, Nebraska's next up on down in the season, but they're, we've got our eye. On them. But we're not looking too far ahead as it's a long year. We're two games into it, and we've got a lot more things we want to accomplish here in this season, year two, with the Wildcats as the offensive coordinator. So it should be interesting. That does remind me, if you have not hit the subscribe button, definitely go in and hit that button. And if you did like today's video, definitely give us a thumbs up. Uh, it really does help out the channel, and I can't thank y'all enough for what y'all do for us here at Champ and Sons. So until that, I will see y'all in the next episode, everybody. So as always, stay safe. And well, y'all know how it goes by now, right? Later, y'all.